Okay, for number four, box number four, let's do this. Let's take 34, multiply that times three. 34 times three. Well, in order to make 34, if we used our place value chart, we would do three tens and four ones. Now we need to have this exact same thing, only we need to see it three times. So we need to have 34 three times. Now again, we could add this up, but the whole point here is to learn how to do it fast. So why don't we just take the three tens, three tens, three tens, and three tens. That's one set of three tens. There's another set of, oops, three tens. Let me erase that. And another set of three tens. So we've got three tens once, three tens twice. We need it one more time. All right, that right there is the 30 times three. We haven't done anything with the four yet. We're just looking at our tens. 30 times three. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So we know that 30 times three is 90. But what about the four? Well, we need to see the four three times. We know that's only four ones. So we've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I see four three times. Four three times. Well, how many is that? What is four times three? It's 12. If we add all that up, we get 102. Here's the standard algorithm way of doing it. 4 times 3 is 12. Since the number 12 has 2 in the 1 space and 1 in the 10 space, we're going to bring that, that 10 over here. And we'll add it in after we're done. So 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10. There's your standard algorithm. We just split it out a little bit and made it 30 and 4 times 3. Because that you could actually do in your head. Want to try a harder one on your own? Okay, you've got an example. Write this in box number four. Pause if you need to. And then I'm going to give you another one and see if you can do it on your own in box five. All right, new color ink. Uh, how about blue? Box number five. How about we try 56 times nine. How are we going to separate out 56 and then multiply it by nine? Well, 56 is equal to 50 and six. And if we multiply each of those by nine and add together our answer, we should get it. So 50 times 9, well, let's see. Let's use some tally marks to help us count. 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400, 450. Ah, 450. And 6 times 9, which you should know by now, is 54. When we add those up, we get, did you get 504? All right, we're going to do one last one. I'm not going to give you the answer to this one, but you have some examples. Number six. All right, this in box number six, and see if you can handle it on your own. 
63 times 5. All right, see you next time.